Oh, hi, Dirt Digger here. Um, I use a White's Coin Master GT, and as some people have seen on YouTube, that's my detector. Um, I like White's detectors. I've got a Coin Master, and I went ahead and got the Coin Master GT, and I love the thing. Uh, there's not a whole lot of videos on it right now. I've had people ask me if uh, I would do a couple tests and show them how the detector works in the field and do some air tests. So right now I'm going to do some air tests for you. I've had it out, had it out in the field and piece, people have seen how, how it's done, how, how it works. So now I'm going to do an air test and uh, show you guys uh, the different tones and the depth that it will pick up different coins and gold rings and stuff like that so let's get to it okay now we're going to start the air test I've got my paper marked out here in inches up to 10 inches as of the paper's 11 inches I've got um, silver coins here I got quarter half dime then I got a uh, zinc penny copper penny and gold ring um, regular quarter so We'll start off with the zinc penny. That's a solid six. We'll put that over here. We'll go ahead and go with the, the wheat penny. seven inches. We'll go ahead and go with a regular dime. It looks like a solid seven inches. Now we'll go with a silver Merc dime. Seven inches. Then we'll go with a nickel. That's a solid six. We'll go with a regular quarter. Seven and a half. Now we'll go with silver quarter. There goes seven and a half. Now I've got a silver half Kennedy here. It'll go a solid nine on that. Now I got my gold ring. We're looking at a seven, uh, about six and a half on the on the gold ring. So there you have it. That's your uh, air test for the Coinmaster GT. Uh, I might go ahead and post in a couple of my hunts into the video if I have time. If not, that'll be a whole other video. But uh, thanks for watching. I hope uh, that gives you a little bit of insight on the Coinmaster GT as far as an air, air test goes.